programming will be very, very familiar with the domino object model. That's your notes views and your notes documents and, and all those classes that you use in LotusScript you can use in server-side JavaScript. We also have app functions. So if you uh, have, you know, everyone has probably worked with app functions and many of the more popular app functions have been ported over to server-side JavaScript. So the familiar things like at DB name, at DB column, at DB lookup are available to you. And here's an example of server-side JavaScript. So the first two lines may not look very familiar to you if you're a JavaScript, if you're not a JavaScript programmer, but the third line should look familiar to you. And here's an example of an at DB lookup function in server-side JavaScript. So the syntax is a little different, but it's the same parameters. And the first two lines are just defining some of those parameters, like the database name and location. OK, so let's look at, uh, just uh, real quick, at an X page uh, that's running. And we have a, uh, first let's look at a, uh, a view we have. So we have a customers by name view in designer. And so we want to show this in an X page. So we have an X page that uses what's called a view control. So this view control, we're going to get into more details on this later, is what can be used to display the contents of a view. So let's go ahead and uh, compare this in the notes or the uh, web browser. And you see in the web browser that the view control renders very nicely in using our X page. Uh, when we compare this to the same view that I showed you a few minutes ago in traditional Domino web uh, design, that the uh, standard X page view control looks very nicely. And we can click on a document and open up a customer document and go back to the view. We can also preview this in the notes client. Now X pages run in the notes client and they work the same way in the notes client as they do in the web browser. So as you see we're in the notes client but it's the same X page I just showed you in the web browser in the notes client. So that really uh, simplifies our life whereas before we had to do a lot of work creating, typically creating an entirely different form or view that we would display in the browser, now we can create one X page that's usable in both the notes client and the web browser. Okay, so let's get into how to create our first X page and add some formatted text to that X page and learn how we can navigate around Domino Designer when we're working with X pages. So in Domino Designer for X pages, we have our um, you know, different panes. Those are called views in Eclipse Talk. And on the left side should look very familiar. That's the Applications Navigator. And the Applications Navigator is where we can organize and access all the different design elements in our uh, application. So you should be familiar with this already if you've worked in Domino Designer 8.5. And we can expand and collapse different types of design elements. And we can open up the design elements by double clicking on them. And then they open up in the editor. Now in an X page, when you are working with the design of an X page, you use the X page editor. And we use the controls palette to drag controls from the controls palette and position them on our X page editor. Now the X page editor has both a design tab and a source tab. Right now we're viewing this in the design tab. But we also have a source tab. Now all X pages are XML under the covers. And we can go into the source tab and view the XML. In this case, this is the XML for this particular X page. 
and all the um, X page specific controls start in XP colon. Now we can also add into the source tab pure HTML if we want to do that. We also have other views that support designing X pages. In the bottom left, we have the outline view, and this is going to show us every control on the X page in a hierarchical format. Then we can expand and collapse those controls in the case of a table uh, and drill down to the table cell and what's in a table cell. If we select anything in the X page editor or in the outline view, we get the properties for that selected control. And that's what's at the bottom here in the properties view. And we can change the properties you know, as needed to support our design. We also have an events view. And here's where we're going to add our JavaScript code to uh, different events. You probably have worked with the, uh, for example, a button on a form or in an action bar in Domino uh, and work with the on-click event. So that's just an example of an event that we can add code to in X pages as well. And there's a number of other events. Over on the right side is our controls palette. This will list all our controls uh, that come with Domino Designer. Uh, we also can add custom controls. And there's a whole set of controls you can get from third-party sources, one example being an open NTF there's a number of controls that you can get to expand the controls you can use in your X pages, and in particular things like the extension library. And then we have the data palette, and the data palette has, if we have set up any data sources to a particular domino form or view, we will have all the columns for the view, or in this case, all the fields on this particular form. And we can drag those fields over to our X page to create a link to those particular fields on our Domino documents. And we're going to get into more of that later on. OK, so creating an X page. Uh, you, when you create an X page, you just give it a name. Uh, the naming convention is a little different than forms. Uh, we cannot have uh, spaces, for example, in our X page name. So many of you have gotten in the habit of using spaces in your uh, form and view names. You're, you're going to have to kind of get into the habit of not doing that with X pages. And we can also add data sources at this time, either a view or Domino documents. Uh, or we can do it later. You can do that at any time. Once we add, uh, or I should say create our X page, it will open up in the editor. And then we can just start typing. It just becomes like a word processor. Now let's go show you that and create our first X page. So creating an X page, we can go to the X pages design list and open that up. And we have a new X page button. Or I can go to the create menu and design and create an X page that way. Or I can right click on the application title in the applications navigator and go to the, um, let's see, it's not there. Right, I'm not seeing that there, but I can go right click on uh, the X pages in my apps navigator and say new X page. So there's a number of different ways to do it. Uh, so I'll call this one my first X page. And again, here's the option to add as data source. We'll not do that now. We can do that later. And here is my uh, X page editor. So it's just a, a blank slate here. We can now start, start typing. Um, we can give this uh, X page a title. And once I added some static text to the X page, I can highlight that text. And I can go over to the Properties view. And I can go and underneath the style uh, in the Properties view, I have a way to set the font. So I can set a certain font. And I can set the style. I can make it bold. 
and make it bigger. I can center this. And I can change the color. And I can do the same for the second line here. Uh, I can set the, the font and the size and center it and change the color, make this blue. And so there's the X page. And if I go to the source tab, I'm just going to format this so you can see it better. Uh, you see that there's a bunch of tags that were added for the, the styling that I just created. So everything, again, gets, is getting converted to XML. Uh, going back to the design tab, if we want to preview this, I can use the preview buttons. Uh, but first, I uh, could save it. Uh, and to save it, I can go to File, Save, or I can do Control-S. OK, now as far as previewing, I have two preview buttons up at the top. I have the preview in notes button, or I have the preview in the web browser. I can use the drop down arrow to choose my browser, or if I just click on that button, it'll use my default browser. And so there's my X page previewed in the web browser. OK, so let's go back to the presentation. OK, so adding a control. Um, I can add a control two ways. I can, first of all, go to the controls palette and drag and drop the control I want, in this case, a table control, to the desired location on the X page. When I let go of the mouse button, uh, it will show me a dialog box that will be dependent on the type of control you created. In this case, because it's a table control, we can set the numbers of rows and columns. I can also use the other option in the controls palette. And this is useful when you want to add a control that doesn't appear on the controls palette. The controls palette is adjustable through preferences and you can set what controls you want to use or want to see on your controls palette. So if you want to use a control that may not be there, you can use the other option in the controls palette and drag that over to your X page. And when you let go of the mouse button, you'll get a list of all the controls available in your application, even if they're not visible on the controls palette. Once we add the control, we can use the uh, outline view and select a particular control. That will be highlighted in the design uh, tab of the XPage editor and also in the properties view. So the outline view is very useful to get right to where you want to go and, and to set properties or start writing code for that particular control. We can also do the same in the source tab. If we highlight something in the outline view, that source XML for that particular control will be highlighted. Also in the outline view, we can delete controls, and we can move controls. So we can use the outline view to move things around as well. If we have any errors, they will show in the errors or problems view at the bottom. So in this case, we had a table tag, and the closing tag was spelled wrong. It was tables instead of table, so it didn't match the opening tag. And so it throws an error when we go to save the X page. Uh, the X page is still saved, unlike the domino form, like where you had an error in a formula language, you weren't able to save the form. The X page is still saved, uh, but it will flag a problem Thank you.